In this video, I'll show you how to make this heavy smoke simulation that interacts with the stairs. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by creating the stairs. So press S then Y to scale the cube on the Y axis. And then let's add an array modifier. And then we're going to set the set offset to minus one, and then just increase the count. Okay, so now we have the stairs. And then next, we need to add some collision physics to the stairs. And then go to fluid and effector. And we go to fluid because smoke is a subcategory of the fluid physics settings. And then we're shift A. And then we're going to add the inflow object. And I'm just going to use an icosphere. And then press G, then set to grab it on Z axis. G, then X to grab it on the X axis. And then S, then Y to scale it on the Y axis. And then you can also press Control one to add one subdivision to the object, just to make it look a bit better. Doesn't really matter because we're using this as an inflow object. So set it to flow, smoke, and then inflow. And then in order to push the smoke down, we're going to set the initial velocity to a negative value on the set axis. So let's set it to minus three, for example. And then we can save before we continue, save as, give it a name. You can save it wherever you want on the computer and then just press enter to save. And then we're going to press shift A and add some wind as well, just to give it the extra push. Press G then set to grab it on the set axis and then R then Y to rotate it on the Y axis. We're also going to make the smoke rise very slowly and by combining this with some wind and negative initial velocity, we're going to push the smoke down. Let's set the strength to 0.1. And uh, let's add some noise as well. And then press Shift A. And then add a cube. And then press S to scale. And this is going to be the domain of the simulation, which is the border of the simulation and where we set up all of the settings for the smoke simulation, like the resolution of the smoke. Okay, so let's go to fluid, domain, and then I'm going to increase the resolution slightly, which is the quality of the uh, smoke simulation and how much details we get. And by setting the buoyancy and heat to zero, we can make the smoke rise slower and make it appear heavier. And then we can also enable noise to make the smoke look a bit more interesting. So I'm only going to set the strength to 0.3 and set the scale to 0.1. Okay, and then next we need to bake the uh, test simulation. So let's save before we continue. And then we can make the bake resumable in case you want to pause the simulation, which is useful and then set the type to all so that you can bake the simulation. Okay, and let us bake. I have sped up this part of the recording because the bake is probably going to take some time. So I expect to wait a few minutes and then I'm going to press escape to pause the bake. And as you can see, it's uh, working just fine. I think I'm going to make the smoke inflow a bit thinner so I'm going to scale it on the z-axis, S then set. And then let's also open a new window so that we can edit the material of the smoke. So uh, let's go into the shader editor, add a new material for the domain, press N and then press X and shift A. And then let's add a principled volume shader, which we need for the smoke. And then connect volume to volume. And then I'm also going to add a background image. You can find a bunch of these background images for free in the description. And the background image is going to give the scene a bit more interesting lighting. Okay, so let's go into the render settings. And under film, we can make the background image transparent so that we get the light from the image, but uh, we can't actually see it in the scene. Okay, and then I'm going to switch to cycles. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. If not, just keep using the CPU. And then let's go to one of the frames with smoke. 
you can see the material is working and uh, let's select the light and turn it into a sun let's set the strength to uh, five and then you can press r twice in the viewport to rotate the sun freely and then you can also add a color to the smoke by selecting the domain and select the color and then you can make it blue for example and that's pretty much it next you just go in to the smoke domain settings and increase the resolution of the smoke and then you can set up the camera and render the simulation and that's it for uh, this video thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more simulation tutorials